this over here is the moving jaw as um so it will move like this and there is a one and a half inch slot here and here on both sides so this jaw is 14 inches in length from here to here it's 14 inches and there are chamfers all over and this this slot was made by a three quarter inch bit so i just drilled two holes side by side and connected it with a chisel here and here like that and it's 14 inches in length this is the fixed jaw which has the bolt on this side so over here the nut is embedded and the bolt is threaded through so um on this side on both sides there is a place to attach like a c clamp or an f clamp so you can mount it to your workbench if you are not screwing this into like the side of the workbench so from here to here it is 18 inches and from here to here it's 14 inches just like the uh, moving jaw so this is the uh, fixed jaw so this as it's it's about like 125 mm or 5 inches from here so um two and a half inches from the top or bottom i get the center of the board like this and 50 mm from this side to here i get a point there and just drill a pilot hole and a three quarter inch hole to fit this and the nut here this is the moving jaw so as i mentioned it has the slot here which is a one and a half inches in length and three quarter inches uh, uh height like that so from the center point from the center point of the slot to this edge is 50 mm just like the one on the fixed jaw but except that is not a slot so i've done that it's mirrored on both sides over here so and to get like the position to drill these two holes um what i did was so i from the center point i took 3 8 inch because 3 8 is the half of 3 4 so 3 8 from this side to here and here i got these two lines here and then uh, two and a half inches from top i got a point here and here and then i just used the bit to drill through um and i got a slot which i cleared out with a chisel and i repeated on both sides So this is the fixed jaw and I have got marks where uh, to drill the holes for the bolt. So in this we are going to have to drill a 3 quarter inch hole and manage to embed a 3 quarter inch nut into this. So and also we are going to cut off a part of this here on both sides so we can so I can clamp it down to my workbench here. completed the build and I'm just gonna show you how the thumb wheel works so before that you're gonna have to put a washer so that you don't damage this part and you get more surface contact to tighten the vise so you put the washer here like this and this is the thumb wheel so I, I have drilled a, th a three quarter inch hole over here so that like it can pass over the bolt like this 
and then I've also made a space so that I can embed the three quarter inch nut like this just secure it in with some epoxy and then I can perfect and it's a pretty tight hold you can also add some uh, polyurethane leather some artificial synthetic leather inside the jaws of the vice to get a stronger hold and also i would if i made this next time i would have probably used the hardwood for this jaw but uh, i think a hardwood would have created an even stronger um, hold like this so i in and anyways these uh, front jaws they are replaceable so like if this wears out you can just take this out um cut it up for another project or something and like just get make a new front jaw and so it's perfect for that so you can replace this and otherwise it's a perfect wise I, I use this every single project and I would definitely recommend this to you the best thing about this vice is that like you can replace the hardware or the jaws so like let's say if the hardware has worn over time so you can just replace the hardware and it won't even take that long to make the thumb wheel so it's really easy to replace that and um and let's say if the jaws or uh, the wooden part gets dinged up you can just replace that and make a new one in no time so it's really uh, an affordable solution if you don't have a metal vice and plus it's really great for like all uh, sorts of um, weird boards like if it's twist um, like if it is like tapered like it's thicker here or thicker here like the slot it can adjust for that uh, uh, slant and like let's say if it's just an abnormal board that won't fit in like such a small bench wise because my wife wise it's 14 inches in long so it can hold a really long board like it can hold a three foot board um and like since this uh, uh, uh bolt it's eight inches long so like um and let's say the thickness of the wood is also about two uh two inches each so you get about four inches of clamp uh by uh the clamping space so it's a lot and for like a amateur woodworker or this like um it's perfect and even professionals use this so it's a really great solution